Let it burn. Here's your look at the NECA Toys Halloween Kills Ultimate Michael Myers. The Strode women join a group of other survivors of Michael's first rampage who decide to take matters into their own hands, forming a vigilante mob that sets out to hunt Michael down once and for all. Evil dies tonight. Figure includes knives, bat, bulb, halligan bar, skull mask, interchangeable head and hands. It may no longer be Halloween, but that's not to say that we still can't have a few treats from NECA toys. Before we get a closer look at the Halloween Kills Michael Myers, let's first figure out how tall the figure stands. We're going to take my ruler, put it right to the very top of his head. The figure stands at around 7 and 3 quarters of an inch tall, or 19 and a half centimeters tall. Then we can compare the Halloween Kills Michael Myers with the originally released 2018 figure from NECA toys. You may notice this already, that they have improved upon the body. Michael isn't as full as he was with the 2018 release, a lot leaner and meaner the way he should be. And we can also bring in Laurie Strode as well, if I can pro provide I can actually reach that far. Yeah, Laurie Strode seems still pretty short. She only goes to about the shoulder area on the 2018 release, and she goes about to the same shoulder area on the Halloween Kills version of Michael Myers as well. Let's now run through the accessories that come included with the figure, but we're not going to run as fast as Michael seemed to run back in the 78 flashback scene, darting in and out of rooms and down alleyways. I didn't realize Michael could move so fast. Anyways, though, looking at the accessories that come included with the figure, starting first with a pair of knives, though not identical to one another. Perhaps these were owned by Little John and Big John. I have a knife. I, too, have a knife. I'm glad they don't do that all the time with the things that they own. But the knives are not identical. You can see that one blade has been used, and it looks like it's been used maybe more than once. The blood is dried, and then Michael has proceeded to use it again. He's very efficient with the weapons that he chooses. And the handles, of course, as you can see, are different from one another. A slightly more bigger black handle down below, and a more kind of off brownish beige color for this knife. And like I said, he does come into include with two of those. I hope at some point we are going to be getting ourselves a Big John and Little John 2-pack NECA toys. Please make that happen. Anyways, though, the figure comes also included with a fluorescent ball. One of the more brutal murders, killings in the movie was when he just strolled into the woman's kitchen. Instead of pulling for a knife, he decided to reach down and grab a fluorescent bulb and then proceeded to bludgeon her with it. By the way that it's wet like this, I would imagine it's still... It hasn't dried yet. Michael's just decided to use it. And he hasn't yet dropped it onto the floor, shattering it. It even has the little prongs on the end that would fit then into the socket to illuminate the bulb. I can tell you from first-hand experience, if you ever are changing these, don't ever line the finger up to see if you can guide your way into putting this in because you're going to electrocute yourself. Yeah, I did do that. Stupid, stupid me. But at least he comes included with the light bulb prior to him dropping and smashing onto the floor. The figure also comes included with a baseball bat. The baseball bat generally looks pretty clean, although there's little notches and scratches all in it, so it looks like it's an old baseball bat. I hope at some point as well we're going to be getting more than just Michael Myers and a Laurie Strode. Maybe down the road we'll get ourselves a Tommy Doyle, and he can just continue to make bad choices throughout the course of the movie. He comes included with a baseball bat. That's a nice little touch. And the figure also comes included with the Halligan Bar which is basically like a multi-purpose pry bar that firefighters use. It has different tools, so you can see like it has a spike on the end, that little pry bar on the other side, and then it does sort of have like a little section, I guess, to remove nails or bolts in order for them to gain entryway into a building that's on fire. Um, on this case, in this case, you can see like there's blood only on the one side. Dealing with all those firefighters, who apparently were firefighters that they used in the movie. I don't know why... Relevant wise, it needed to be real firefighters for exactly what happened to them. But at least he includes the Halligan bar. And of course, that can fit into the figure's hands as well. Now we can kind of move on to the other things. Well, I guess we could talk a little bit about the hands for a second. Let's just do that right now. The figure comes with two variations of three bandaged hands. Uh, this doesn't make much sense. I know two variations. Well, he comes with these two hands, and then he comes with the other hand that's down there for, again, holding things. Uh, surprisingly enough, he doesn't come with another hand for this side of his body. He only comes with just the one. Talk more about that in a second, but you can see in both the cases, Michael's done his best to bandage up his wounds. Although the fact he's lost a finger, he's lost two fingers, I probably would have sought medical attention as opposed to just trying to bandage it up himself. Anyways, they are very 
grossly discolored fingers, very dark and grimy, and you can see that they're soaked in blood. The blood is even bled through the bandages. Now, these hands also help to hold one of the other accessories he comes included with, and that is the skull silver shamrock mask. You know it's silver shamrock by the fact there's the little silver shamrock badge on the back of it. Although it doesn't actually belong to anybody right now, we got to imagine he's killed that kid off screen. Although I don't think we ever really see his death. Michael somehow is managing able to kill people, leave a scene, come back, and people can discover them strung up, hung up like ornaments. I don't know how Michael has all this time available. But anyways, he does come with the skull silver shamrock mask. And as you can see, it's blood soaked. What's interesting, though, is there's this little pinched part at the top here where you can actually take his bandaged hand and it fits right onto that little bit right there. Just enough for him to actually be able to hold the mask in hand. I think that's a really neat touch on their part to be able to do that. Uh, then the figure also comes included with a different swappable head sculpt. I sort of scratched my head as to why they included this particular head sculpt, and if you have any ideas, you can certainly feel free to let me know down below. Suppose we could start with the stock head sculpt first, and then we'll change things over so you can see the difference between the two. Again, I have a real tough time looking at the two and seeing what difference there is. I mean, we're looking at the head sculpt here, the two that they get included with this figure. Other than the fact that this one seems a little fuller in the face, I can't really see what there's much different between the two head sculpts. There's a little more of a darker wash added in some of the features on the face on this one. But I don't think it's really enough to justify getting almost the same two head sculpts packed along with the figure. I mean, I know the costume isn't really going to be something that would match. But I would love to have seen them throw in the 78 flashback scene. Even if you don't decide to use it with this Michael Myers for the notable reasons that, of course, he's already burnt on the one side of his body. You could also have then used it with the original 2018 Michael Myers that we looked at earlier. I think that would have been a nice, fun touch to throw in there. Sort of like the Ben Tramer that we got packaged along with Halloween 2 Michael Myers. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not seeing much of a difference between the two. The coloring is both is good on both of them, really. But again, I don't really see much difference between the two. To change out the head sculpts, by the way, just hold on to the torso on one of them and just wiggle it off the, the ball peg. It may take a few times to do this, but at least one thing that greets you when you take off the head is that you're dealing with just a post and not having to deal with a ball joint. The new head is a little harder to get back in there because you're going to have to kind of get it tucked underneath the collar. And then once you just wiggle it back in place like this, just apply a little bit of pressure like that and pop it into place. This may take a few more efforts than just the one right now. Hold on one second. Changing out the interchangeable head sculpts seem to require a little bit more pressure than I thought was initially required, but nonetheless, we have removed the initial head and replaced it now with a secondary head sculpt. There's not much different. I admit, there's not much different between the two. There are differences, subtle differences, but the fact that the heads are so close to one another, both in sculpt and paint, really makes me wish that we could have got ourselves a 78 flashback scene Michael Myers mask. Even though it wouldn't have necessarily worked with this particular body, being that this body already is burnt to the crisp, at least it could have been something that they could have used for the 2018 Michael Myers, if you already have that in your collection. Yeah, the fact that we get head sculpts so close like this, maybe it was the plan initially to release this figure with a 78 flashback, but unfortunately they just didn't have the licensing available. NECA has been asked on occasion online whether they plan to release a Halloween flashback Michael Myers, and they have so far said no. Again, some of that may have something to do with licensing that you gotta believe if they had planned to do a 78 flashback Michael Myers, he would be coming out. Because there's no reason to leave that kind of thing on a table. Anyways, though, looking at the two heads, very similar, and yet there are differences between the two. Again, this is the original one that we started with. You'll see, like, for example, the gash on the side of his face is a little smaller and not as much of the blood is seeping through the mask as it is on the secondary one. I find also like the features are a little bit more, there's a starker contrast of features on the secondary head than what we get with the with this one. There are a little smoother of features on the defaulted head. You see a lot more of that when you see this side of the figure, or what I would consider the show side of Michael Myers. Like for example, the scarring on this side seems a little bit more rooted into the, the plastic, unlike this one is here. It could be just the way that they painted it, but I feel like this is the better of the two head sculpts, especially when you're seeing it from this side. The mouth also seems slightly different. Perhaps it's maybe my eyes playing tricks on me. The one thing I really like about this particular mask, again, is the darker colors that they use for the one side of his face. Uh, being that this side is also charred, they took the liberty of actually charring the top of his hair, which they didn't actually take a lighter to, but they mimicked that by darkening the color of his hair, and they also added a semi-gloss sheen to it. 
That same sheen can be added also to this side of his body where this side of his coveralls got burnt and charred in the house. Well, look at this Michael Myers from Halloween Kills. It always reminded me of the Nolan Two-Face, where Two-Face had the two-halved costume, but the half of his costume was actually just the charred side of his suit. Some very, very similar I noticed here with Michael Myers. It's a nice-looking suit, I will say. And the, again, the changes that they've made on this figure are noticeable. I mean, when we bring in the original 2018 release, this unfortunately had the side effect being that they used an overlaid suit over top of his frame underneath. It made Michael a little heavier, fatter Michael Myers. This one is a lot slimmer. And maybe if just anything, if they've just used, like putting your finger to it, you notice it right away that the plastic overlay doesn't seem as puffy. You see right there, like for example, I can push in his chest here. I can't do as much here on the new release. It definitely makes Michael look a little slimmer because Michael Myers should be slimmer. In the new trilogy, the, the gentleman that is playing Michael Myers is a notably thinner character that really like the suit that he wears should be baggier and kind of just fall on him. This one does a better job, I find, find, of replicating that. Michael Myers does have the little bullet holes and a couple of stab wounds there on the top. Again, he does have the bandaged on the one side of his hand. I kind of wish like this hand could have included some extra swappable hands too, because the only other option available for this guy is just to remove the hand because he doesn't have any other option. The only hand that he has right now is for to hold something. But if I wanted to just get a relaxed hand, I guess the only other option I have available is to probably use a, a hand that came included with the original 2018 Michael Myers and swap it instead with this one. Uh, one thing also that's different about the two Michael Myers is that the coloring of the skin seems much warmer. He has a more jaundiced color of skin for the Halloween Kills release. Now, it could just simply be for the amount of blood loss that he has or the fact, as Laurie would say in the movie, he's transitioning. I don't know whatever that means. Apparently he's a human in some of the instances, and in other times he's a walking unstoppable killer. Anyways, though, this one does have the bandaged hands. This one does not, although missing digits on both the cases. It seems like the legs are the same as well as the boots. They are identical to one another. Although with the Halloween kills, they're using a more navy blue peg, where it doesn't seem as... It seems a little darker, at least, for the one that we get for the 2018 release, but the legs seem to be identical to one another. As for the figure's articulation, we'll start first with his head sculpt. It does rotate all the way around, and it hinges up and hinges down. Sometimes while doing it, it does pop off the ball post, but you can just pop that back into place. At least one good thing is, even though he has a higher collar, it doesn't get in the way of things, certainly when it comes to rotating the figure's head up and down. Again, even rotating it back and forth. Now, the arms are a little more limited. I think I seem to recall the other figure also having the same issue, that he only goes to about a 45-degree angle bend. Anything past that, I feel like I'm pushing the limits of the shoulder, and I don't certainly want that to break. The arms rotate all the way around. The figure has not only one hinge joint, but a secondary hinge joint for the elbow, so you can get a double hinge going there. Hands rotate all the way around, whatever hand. This hand or this hand here works the exact same way. And then even though like he does have an overlay plastic over top of his frame underneath, I mean, you can kind of feel there's something working behind the scenes, but nothing really stays in place. If you were to bend like the torso, for example, it's just going to, it's just going to stay like in its neutral position like this. You really can't get any bend or crunch going in the abdomen area. Uh, as for the legs, the legs split out full Van Damme splits for Michael Myers. You can bring the legs forward and bring the legs back. It's kind of funny the way they've brought the pockets so low like this on Michael's very, very flat behind. Uh, even though it does follow the form of the leg when you bring the leg forward, it's kind of just funny, I find, that he's got this little pocket flap that drops down like this. He does have a single hinge in the knee on both the cases. You can rotate the leg back and forth, and when it comes to his feet, like the original one that we got before, hinging up and down, ankle pivot, and yeah, you can rotate the feet all the way around. It's just going to creak and squeak while it does it. Nice looking Michael Myers. Vast, vast, well, I, I shouldn't say vast improvements. The improvements are minor, but they're certainly appreciated. One problem I do have with this figure, though, and I'm kind of hoping he's going to stand up for the rest of this review, stay, 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 I'm going to bring in the original Michael Myers, is that I find like the Halloween Kills version has a little more of a difficult time standing, which sort of is strange to me because like the makeup of the bodies should be the same. I never really had any issues with the 2018 Michael Myers standing, and yet the Halloween Kills, for some reason or another, the ankle joints, I find, cause the figure to fall backwards. It's not happening right now. I'm hoping it's not going to happen for the rest of this review. But I did notice having this guy standing sometimes, he's more prone to falling over. More prone to falling over than the one that we got from the 2018 release.
I'll admit I may not love Halloween Kills nor the direction that the new trilogy is taking with Laurie Strode and Michael Myers not being connected by blood. I prefer myself being a purist of the franchise. I kind of like the idea of them being brother, sister, myself, and it certainly works better for the new trilogy to have them connected as opposed to just Laurie Strode waiting for 40 years knowing he was going to escape. There's plot holes galore, certainly between the two movies that we've gotten so far. Ha hopefully, with Halloween Ends, it will end things on a high note. But I know certainly for the time being, Halloween Kills the Ultimate Michael Myers actually does better than the movie itself, giving us what I feel to be a much better Michael Myers, not only than the 2018 release, but also comparing it to the Halloween 2 Michael Myers that we got before, this could be the best Michael Myers that we've gotten so far. Now, of course, time will tell. We are getting ourselves the Loomis and Michael Myers 2 pack. That's going to get be releasing soon. I'm definitely going to be interested in seeing how that one turned out because that's, again, like if you're a fan of the original franchise, sort of where before the trilogy took over, it's the closest thing that we're going to be getting to a Michael Myers from the original series. Now, again, this figure, I w wish that he could have come included with the flashback scene, Michael Myers mask. I think a lot of fans that picked up this figure for themselves probably wished the same thing. But you got to believe that if NECA, again, had the opportunity and had the, the licensing available to include the flashback scene Michael Myers mask or even one better release an ultimate flashback 78 Michael Myers you know they would have there's probably something in the way of things preventing them from doing it. it's not to say that they're not still going to be able to release one down the road and that may be one also one of the reasons why this figure comes with two somewhat similar looking head sculpts there are differences between the two and I prefer the secondary head sculpt more than the original one this one has a lot of accessories a lot of kill specific accessories. I'm not really sure what I'm going to display him with. I'm kind of like, kind of leaning towards the the fluorescent bulb myself, but I do like the fact that they also included the skull silver shamrock mask. A lot of good stuff like I said going on with Halloween Kills Michael Myers. If you're a fan of Michael Myers, this is one I would definitely recommend over the 2018. If you haven't picked up the 2018, this is the better of the two figures to go with in my own personal opinion. What do you guys think of this figure, the Halloween Kills Ultimate Michael Myers? Weigh in. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. And if you are also, also new to this channel, you're enjoying the content you're seeing, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, turn on the bell notification, and please be so kind to come back to this channel. Because even though we have wrapped up things right now with Halloween Kills Michael Myers, there's going to be a ton of NECA reviews lined up and coming your way. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.